Yeah, it is, Tanya. And some of the CMPD officers that I talked with tonight say that they are putting additional resources in that apartment complex. And it's really easy to understand when you go to the department's website, simply because since the start of this year, they've investigated 143 crimes there. Yellow tape, flashing lights, and shocked bystanders all amplify the outward signs of trouble in this northeast Charlotte neighborhood. That's how things looked late Wednesday night at Hampton Commons. But by Thursday evening, at the corner of Langcrest and Barrington, the usual appearances came back to the neighborhood, but this time with a sobering message. I cherished my life because he was young and I'm young. That made me think. Thinking about how William Norman was shot to death and what police suspect was a robbery connected to drugs. I'm going to just be on the lookout for me and make sure I don't get in no trouble. It is trouble that has CMPD targeting the Hampton Commons apartment homes. We utilize all our tools in a toolbox. Sergeant Edwin Carlton is the response commander for the area and says the department has approved paid overtime to keep things in this complex safe. That's on top of our, our shift officers, our focus mission that's out there. Some of those who were at Wednesday's crime scene are now reevaluating personal priorities. Be cautious with people I hang with, make sure I don't hang with the wrong crowd. And that's a very telling message for some of those youngsters out there. And we talk to the officers, they say that in many instances, they're seeing decreases in things such as burglary and break-ins into cars. But when you talk to some of the teens, they say on many days, it's all about survival. Live tonight from Center City, Steve Crump, WBTV, on your side.